What is going on guys, it's Han Programmer here and welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna take a look on how to make your own custom models in Minecraft Bedrock Edition and the app I'm missing is Blockbench this is available for most of the desktop platform however this is not available on Android but you can use the web version of the Blockbench but that's not very very easy to use but I'm planning of making my own model editor. Anyway, let's go to file. You can click open model. This is an easy way of importing your model. But I have already opened a file which is mobs. Here, I have already got a tutorial on how do you get this file which is in the vanilla resource pack. You can just grab it from that and you can get this thing. Alright, I'm gonna use the templates. Alright, I have chosen the humanoid as a template. This is the model itself. Let's now take a look on what we got. What you are seeing as the folders icon right here is called bones. You can add them right here, add group, and add cube is the parts of the bone. You can have this body, which is a cube, and under there we got another bone which is just a place reference you know for minecraft to figure out where is the armor is where's the belt is where's the waist for animation and stuff minecraft needs this and you can of course change individually any blocks you want and of course we can import the texture for this one all right i've got the texture it's the original steve this is very very simple, not too many bones or cubes or anything, but we can actually make Steve smaller, so let's make him smaller. I'm going to resize him to be thinner, so I get a thin Steve, and I'm going to move anything here, the hand to the nearby like those. After that, I'm going to resize the feet because it's too big for that body. Alright, now Steve is way thinner. This is just the basic of how you can manipulate every single cube in this model. You can use anything here, the pivotal. You perhaps don't want to mess around with this one. Because this change how the models actually rotate. If you move it somehow like me, like the time things I have done, just hit Ctrl Z and it will return back. Of course we got many other tools but we'll get there in the next episode. So right now what we're going to do is speech of the basics. Right here if you tap on the head not hat, head. it's the UV UV is basically a texture it tells you where the locations of your texture was or is so if you move here you can see that the texture is actually moving what you can do with this if you say you got a head and a hat you can move the hat textures into your head it just matters of the location but there's a features in blockbench in which allow you to paint directly on your textures so you can use blockbench for let's say um, creating skins perhaps let's do that right now by clicking create texture if you want to create a new one or you can use the same sieve but I'm gonna make myself some greenish color i'm gonna create an orcs all right just like that i'm gonna name it this name will be used in the model files so i'm gonna create an org default you don't have to use dot but i do use it what you should use is spacebar and let's put it in the mox folder we're gonna generate a template uh, we don't need to change any of those. We can use 16 for resolution. All right. 
you can basically draw anything all right that was the painting done in roughly 10 minutes of time next is the animation tab which is very cool because you can make your own animations you can create a new animation and when you try to move this here you can see that it works because I have an animation there if you don't you just need to make one and you're free to animate but the animation tutorial will be on the other video I'm gonna be making a series on this channel about block bench and most of its features and how you can make cool models the next features we're gonna talk about is you can click here to save your image this image that you have made into a file so you can use it in your resource pack for the custom maps and the next features we also got wireframe modes you can see every single vertices hidden blocks hidden cubes and anything with this mode you can toggle it back off you can zoom in zoom out and reset zoom and you can toggle quad view quad view is basically all four angles like this it's really helpful especially when you're texturing or resizing some of your models this is going to help very very oftenly you can move it like those you see it updates everything you can also right click and click screenshot there you go you get a very cool looking version of your model very simply you can also set the background of your editor this will not affect your model in any way edit some way for your editing for example you want to have a reference image you want to use just right click background and load after that you can click position click ok you can move your reference image anywhere to stop it just click stop background positioning you can also click view and screenshot and screenshot the entire app or screenshot your own model and save it to your computer or just copy it anyway guys that's all i got time for today thank you guys so much for watching this very very simple and short tutorial and i'll see you guys next time